Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to this week's episode of TLA. Apologize uh, for the people who've been following me for a while that I haven't been around. Been really busy catching up with work. Work's been hammering me like crazy. I haven't really had that much time to uh, fish, honestly, to tell you the truth. And I haven't really doing that well on fishing anyways, the days I've been out. But uh, today, we are here in Half Moon Bay, and here's the thing. The options are very limited. Very limited. We actually don't have very much things to fish for, which is going to be the topic of today's uh, video. So we're actually going to just fish for mackerel, and we're going to go looking for some halibut, because basically that's all you can really catch at this point. The topic today is going to be about what happened to fishing in California. Okay, and this is a, a big topic and it's a heavy topic because it's not a topic I generally would like to talk about. I would rather just catch fish and have you guys enjoy it with me and then uh, hopefully we meet out of the water, but that no longer is the case. Okay, so if you guys have been following what's been happening in California in the last few years, the key word here is restrictions. Lots of restrictions. So this year, if you guys have been following us and many of those that are kayak fishing know, knows that there is no salmon fishing. And the thing what happened to is that it put pressure on the halibut fishing. So what did they do after that? They shut down the fishery on an emergency meeting. And now you had from three fish, you went to two fish. Okay, which is fine as well. Halibut's fine. When did they reduce down to two? I was actually happy because I've been talking about the shoe reduced down to two years before because halibut's just getting hammered even without the same closure. That was my opinion. Yeah, I agree. You know, I mean, it's like, you know, you don't really need all much halibut anyway. Then the nail in the coffin came for, 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 for kayak fishing, at least. We're fishing for inshore uh, rockfish, opened on July 15th, and then on September, the start of September, um, it shut down. So we had less than about six weeks of fishing for rockfish inshore, right? Um, basically that destroyed any, any hopes of kayak fishing for inshore, um, fishing and, but then to re, to, to make things better, to mitigate is they opened up to 50 fathoms, which is really far outside. And that allowed other people to fish for, um, for fish outside of that. Basically 50 fathoms for kayaks, no bueno, no good. We're done. Um, so that's going to be a heavy topic and that's something that's going, that we're working a little bit to, to kind of mitigate, but, um, I'll talk a little bit about, about that in, uh, when I get out in the water. Okay. So I'll catch you guys out there and we'll continue the discussion out there. Want to be the person that you call up when you're down. Want to be the first who knows all of your deepest secrets. Can I be the one who wakes you up before you miss your ride? Cause I wanna be close to you And I wanna show you something new You gotta know Every day I got your back Yeah, you can count on me for that So put your hand in mine I will be there every day When you're sick of the climb I will make sure it's okay All right, guys, so the plan today is to maybe work underneath these anchovy balls and maybe find a, a halibut um, or some mackerel, kind of what I'm kind of looking for right now. Um, there are some anchovy balls hanging around here, so maybe, you know, the mackerel will be hanging around too. So, so maybe some big mackerel will, will pop up, and that's always a good thing. But anchovy balls is definitely what we're after. Okay, so let's see if I can find some mackerel out of this.
Boo. Boo's on a big butt. Let's see. Oh. Here comes the drama. Here comes the drama. What's going on here? Here comes the drama. There you go. Oh. oh. He's on the drama. He's going there. He's going there. That's drama right now. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I, I swear. I felt the death blow. How dare you? How dare you catch my spirit fish? How dare you catch my spirit fish? Oh, I got a fish on here. I'm finding like a tuna. Tuna. Oh, look at that Spanish mac. You got a big, right? Mm. The three like this. So far. Oh, is he making dead sounds? <laughs> well, someone's so, someone's not depressed anymore today. <laughs> what? Thank you so much. All right. Because if you invite me out, I wasn't gonna go anywhere. What would you do? What would you do without me, Mumu? Tell you. The state of California is is this word is like restrictive because in the last few years we've really seen the fishery get hit um, by you know these these kind of emergency regulations that the CDFW has been kind of engaging in um, you know let's just look at sturgeon for example many years ago we can fish for sturgeon we don't need a card or anything but then they imposed slot limits right and so okay that's fine I understand that and then they did away with the two bar uh, two bar hooks and they'd only go with one single barbus hooks, right? That's fine too. And then they instituted the report card, right? And now, you know, consequently what you're seeing is that it's, it's starting to decline, decline eventually. Now they're actually trying to get rid of it altogether. So that's what's been kind of happening here. And that's basically what's been happening with fishing in general. Oh, so, oh I'm gone. Give me a second. Oh. I'm on some kind of fish here. I'm hoping it's a it's a really big but but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It took it. It's coming up. Ah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're on move. You're beat. Your bait right. Look at this filthy fish. Look at this filthy fish move. Ah. <laughs> Poaching. Yeah, right. So, look at that filthy fish, boys and girls. This is the season. It's a beautiful 28, 29 incher, but once again, I said in the top of the video, these are illegal to catch, so. Back it goes. Fish on halibut. Yo, oh, yeah. Yeah. Just took off. Yeah, baby. The king is back. King is back, baby. Oh, that one took off, bro. That one took off, bro. 
Joey. Oh! Like Donkey Kong. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like big butts and I cannot lie. I don't need no damn rockfish. Oh, look at that bento. He's on the second fish. Man. Ah. Dramatize. Ah. Dramatize, man. Ah, yeah. Ah. Same area. The other one took off, but this one looks like a keeper. Yeah! Ah! <laughs> oh, I'm just trying to shake it off. Just trying to shake it off. That didn't work out well. This one's inhaled it all the way in. So, we're good. All right, guys. Ah, still, still very active. Look at that. Second halibut of the day. Yeah. It's a beautiful fish, man. It's really unfortunate that our rockfish season is closed. 
We still have halibut kind of keeping things along, but you really have to kind of know what you're doing when you're fishing these fish. But I'm really unfortunate that our, our, our inshore rock fishing has been closed by CDFW. Um, let's go ahead, let's go, uh, let's go make our voices heard in October down in San Jose. Let them know people are hurting because of these closures. Businesses are hurting. People's mental states are hurting because people need time to get out here. You know, the people need time to relax and, and be in the ocean. You know, there's so much stress in the world that people are dealing with. So give us a good answer. Give us a good answer. Okay, our fishery is healthy. Why are you closing it? Makes no sense. Makes no sense. All right, guys, we are back on land. It was a beautiful day out in the water. Uh, the morning was very glass. We picked up just a tad. So we're, we're really happy that we make that all happen. We got a really nice 33 and a 30. Yeah. 33 and a 30, so couldn't have asked for a better day. I got myself a really two nice, beautiful fish right there as well and then obviously you got movies fish right there. Oh it was an extremely good halibut bite. But this video isn't always about halibut. This video is about finding a way to keep our fishery alive for the kayak fishing community. So we will be at the October meeting, October eleventh. October 11th in the evening, I will leave a link in the description to the agenda and we will fight for our fishery because that's what we need to do. Because, like Moose says, we gotta what? Go outside into the outdoors. We gotta go outside into the outdoors and if they're not letting us, we gotta fight for it. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll catch you guys next time.